it's finally arrived. Ordered it back in April and uh, it's now the end of May and it's just arrived. So here we go. This is the go-to system for an old EQ5 mount, which um, I'm wanting to convert. So let's see what we've got. So I've already opened the, the um, packaging. So it's a fairly nondescript packaging. Here we go. So uh, we've got a little white box here and I've already run um, a knife around so I can at least open it quickly. So let's see. Okay, great. So, so we've got some, so this is the, the controller here, which is looking quite good. So it's in a plastic bag and it's got two Cat5 cables there, Cat6 cables. Um, so this is the uh, Simple Dream EQ. And this is basically the uh, controller for it. So we've got a USB lead there. It's obviously to connect it up. And this looks like an ST4 cable. So this is typically the sort of cable that you would get with a telephone, but this is for um, the guide camera. If I was to use a guide camera on this, so there we go. And now we're into the stepper motors. So we should have two stepper motors. Here we go. I'm going to open one of these. Let's have a look. So this is the stepper motor, which is obviously the motor's in there and it's been covered with um, heat shrink tape. Oh look, here's my cat down here. Hello cat. So we've got two stepper motors there and two. And in addition, we've got some Allen keys and a couple of a couple of bolts. So three Allen keys there. I've got two little CD-ROMs, which um, one says Guide Dream, Guide Dream, which is this. So that is the go-to. Sorry, not the go-to. This is the. Um, the control for when you have a guide camera. So there's that. And then we've got the software in there, software and manuals. Okay, so this system has the controller, two motors, cabling, USB, and the guide room. There we go, that's everything there. So I'm going to assemble all of this together and pop it onto the mount. Um, the mount needs a bit of a clean first, so I'll go through the whole rig and uh, we'll see where we get to. Here we go. So this is my very old EQ5 mount. This is, um, I've removed various bits. This is, it's a very old one. It, it, it was originally a black one, but the, um, over its life, uh, before I got it, you can see the various bits of black paint. Um, uh, it's been repainted white and not particularly well repainted, but for this particular exercise, I didn't want to um, completely strip it down and repaint it and go through all of that process. I just wanted to see if I could create a go-to mount and add some motors to it. So I've got here this one, which has luckily RA for right ascension. Um, and this one doesn't have anything on, but I'm assuming declination. So um, there we go. So these have little stepper motors on and they've got uh, what looks like an RJ45 connection there. And it's coated really nicely, actually. I'm quite, I quite like this, um, in heat shrink, which is the type of heat shrink that has glue on the inside. So it's actually glued its way on there. So that should be pretty good at keeping the moisture out. So that's not bad. So what I'm going to do now is actually fit the right ascension motor and the declination motor. Now on this mount, because it was so old, what I did was, uh, I've obviously removed quite a lot of parts already um, to make it easier. Now this mount, mount was actually damaged, so I had to um, replace the saddle because that was cracked. Um, but apart from that, it's fine, it's absolutely brilliant. I've taken the slow motion controls, which is actually where the motor uh, goes, um, off. I've cleaned all of the worm gears and I've re-lubricated them with the correct lubricant and um, 
and I've given it a good old clean down as well. So it's, it's much better. Um, so the next step is to start mounting all of our motors and I've downloaded the instructions which are here. I believe they also come on the CD-ROMs as well that came with this. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is try and assemble it and um, see where we get to. So here we go. So first of all, I've just orientated according to the photo there. So this is the right ascension motor. And it says it's as simple as, it just fits on there, which it does. That looks good. Okay, so this, this L bracket here has a thread there and the instructions don't say too much about mounting it, but you know, that's okay. Um, I'm sure that this just goes through from this side through into here. It's already on the slow motion control there and I'm not going to tighten those. These, by the way, are super cool. I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually a spring. So they've, they've cut into the metal on this joining bit with uh, to create a, a spring effect. So that's basically a spring so that if this has, um, if it goes under any tension at all, that will just compress. I think that's a really clever design. It's now just taken. Now I'm not going to do this tightly because it's only screwing into what is probably three millimeter steel. So you shouldn't tighten this hugely because you'll damage the threads. So I would imagine it just needs to be finger tight. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that's the right ascension motor done. Now, this is the declination motor. And this is the shorter Allen key, the Allen key. Um, all of this is supplied in the kit, by the way, the three Allen keys, which I think is really good. If you don't have any Allen keys, you will just be able to screw these on. The other thing which is really nice about this is they've obviously been through the whole thing and checked that um, they've angled these orange brackets already for you. So they've obviously, when they've, when they've done their quality control, they've obviously been through this. Again, I don't want to do it too tight. It just needs to be tight enough. That's really good. So we've now got our right ascension and declination motors on the mount. That's really good. So the only thing which I don't know about is I don't know what power to put on the controller. That's going to be a slight mystery. So I just need to quickly go through these instructions to find out what the powering is. So it doesn't say on there either what voltage. I suspect it's going to be 12 volts, but I'm going on their website to find out. Power supply requirements. Excellent. 12 volts, two amps. Brilliant. Okay, this is super exciting, super exciting. Right, 12 volt battery. Feeding a distribution here, and it'll then go into our unit. Now the question is, which one of these is right ascension, which one's declination? But the instructions will show us, I'm very confident. So let's plug this up. So I've got some power now. So that's 12 volts on a center, center pin positive. So let's just quickly go through the instructions again. Okay, it doesn't say which one's right ascension and which one's declination, but that's okay because we do have a button that says right ascension and a button that says declination. So what I'm going to do is just plug it in
Ooh, I can hear it ticking. That's so cool. It's working. Wow, right, they're the wrong way around, but that's okay. So RA is moving the deck, so I need to swap them, and then I need to label them. Right, so what I need Nanny to do is tighten this so it actually works. Great, so those motors are working well. I'm now going to go and find Stellarium. At this point, I realized I needed a bit more time to get it all working, so I dived back into the instructions to try and work it all out. <laughs> 